How's it going everybody? I'm Smoke Over 13 and welcome back to another NASCAR vlog and today we are heading to Tennessee. We are going dirt racing at Bristol. In about 10 minutes we'll be leaving and heading to Bristol. I got all my stuff packed ready to go. I'm so excited to go back to this race. Going to the truck race and the cup race. And don't know what to expect during this race. We're going to have a great time. We're going to meet some friends over there. I'm so looking forward to go back to Tennessee because Tennessee is actually my favorite state to go to. All right, so let's head on to Tennessee. stopped we're pretty much like in Johnson City or nearby Johnson City we stopped at a in a parking lot in Cheddar's we got good old Thomas this place looks really packed so we're gonna probably go inside if not if it's too packed which it looks like it really is packed probably go somewhere else for sure and see what other restaurants are nearby and uh, grab something to eat we're inside of Cheddar's right now we just order our food drinking delicious sweet tea Thomas eating these delicious Croissants. Really like the wrapping on this, the Tyler Reddick wrapping. Really cool. You can tell they're definitely heavily sponsoring that number eight car. So, what did you rate at Cheddar's? Eight. That's good. Yes. That's a bet. Yeah, before we go to the hotel room, we're going to go to Target. Look what we found. What you got? Tom's got the blini. They got all kinds of stuff. They got Harvick. Oh, this is a Ryan Priest truck. They got Ryan Priest. He wanted this. They got Kozlowski and a Benedetto back yeah, there. He wanted this. I'll take that. And dude, they got so many wrestling figures. Nice. All right, we made it to the hotel room. Got to get a couple things out of the car first. And Thomas, what are you eating? So I'm gonna call him back to rule up. Well, it's good. It's made by Harbor. You want to make the other gummy bears? Mm-hmm. Nice. So yeah, we got to get some stuff out of the car. My charger for my phone. Probably bring in the uh, uh, racing equipment. Make sure everything's all good and ready to go for recording the race tomorrow. And also they're calling for more rain tomorrow, just like what happened last year where they had to postpone it till Sunday. So, but they're not calling for rain any on Sunday, but tomorrow is supposed to. We're gonna go to the track tomorrow for the heat races. Hopefully they can get that in and go to the truck race tomorrow night. Alrighty, today's Saturday. Got up early in the morning, it's like eight o'clock. Gonna walk to Target real quick and find some stuff that I need for the trip. See if they restock on diecast uh, because I gotta find a Ty Dillon, uh, Ty Gibbs. 164 diecast. The Spider-Man movie came out yesterday, so I'm gonna pick that up too. And see what kind of albums are out now. If there's any good albums out, see what they got. And pick one up. I'm at Books A Million right now, and they got some really cool stuff. Actually, I got some stuff for myself, and also got this cool scouter for Thomas. All these cool Funko Pops. See, there's the Jeff Gordon. I finally found what I wanted. Berserk, book one. All right, just got a books a million. Got what I wanted, and heading back to the hotel room. Hopefully, Thomas is up, so we can leave to head on to Bristol. All right, Thomas. So, where are we going to eat at? Old Charlie's. We're going to go to Old Charlie's. Kind of like your typical Applebee's, but Old Charlie's is really good. All right, so let's head on out. Get some good grub. And it is beautiful outside in Johnson City. So how do I apologize and put the tears back in your eyes? When every canvas that I paint is a masterpiece of my mistake.
All right, so we're finally here at Bristol. This man's excited. <laughs> Look at that smile. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, but check that out. Look at that view right there. That's awesome because I'm so excited to go to Bristol. And now let's head on out. Oh, wow. Check that view out. So that's the back stretch right here. The other side is the front stretch. We're going to be sitting on the back stretch when we go into the racetrack. Uh, we're going to look around, get a couple things, and go to the uh, Bruton Smith building. So we're going to check that out real quick and see what we can find. All right, getting ready to go walk to the track. Yep, yep, yep. Well, since we're walking to the racetrack right now, it's actually sprinkling a little bit, uh, but hopefully it doesn't affect today. Hopefully it's not supposed to rain at all so probably get like a little drizzle at least and uh should be ready to go later today here we are at bristol look at that beauty it's nice i think it's huge it's beautiful it's majestic it's the masterpiece but i love it tents over there everybody then you got the haulers and then look at that you got like a giant ferris wheel over there really nice it's right more people out here. All right, got the program. The programs are free as well. You can go and pick one up. I got the pen and I got an orange hat just in case I like need some drivers. Rocking this awesome new Alex Bowman hat I just picked up. I think it's nice. Love it. It fits really comfortable too. Now we're gonna walk over where they have more of the stuff and check that out. See if they got any more die casts. I just found the Kyle Larson 124 Nashville win, but I already got a uh, pre-order autograph elite. We're gonna look around. They might have the Nashville uh, 164 car out, so we'll try and find that one. I tell you what, those bull rock guys, they always put on a party. Check out this Tundra Platinum. Looks really nice inside. I've always, well, I followed F1 for quite a while. It'd be really fun. Guys, personalities like Daniel Ricardo. I'd love to see him come over here. Um, another one, Lewis Hamilton. I mean, honestly, you could just, any any of those drivers that, that compete in F1, they're just on a whole nother level, honestly. So it'd be really fun in some way to get to race against them somehow. I think this is a unique time in motorsports, it feels like, where we're seeing a lot of crossover, and it's good. I like it. I mean, it's it's good for NASCAR, and I think it's a good thing. So who, who would you like to race with? I got the chance to race against two of the F1 guys on iRacing randomly, just in official races loaded in. Uh, well, one of them was uh, an ARCA car at South Boston Speedway with Lando, and I passed him in that there you one. Go. Uh, then the other one was Max Verstappen at the Indy Road Course. Let's go, Verstappen. Car. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Um, how did, how, uh, did he lap the field? He won. I finished third, but he was over a minute ahead of me at the wow. end of it. It was not even close. So we learned Is he driving that, a Red Bull Arc car or something? Uh, well, he must cheat. That's the only explanation. So. <laughs> and have some fun with some of the drivers. So stick around. We got lots more here in the Food City Fan Zone. Give yourselves a round of applause, man. You're here at Bristol. We're ready to have some fun. We'll see you guys in just a moment. That must have to get turn around, Richard. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Reddick. I really wanted Richard Childress and uh, Castrola. Tyler Reddick's autograph on this hat. And there is plenty more drivers we could try and meet tomorrow or later today. Look at Thomas getting his exercise in. Oh yeah. It's like a episode of uh, what, Mountain Man? Walking up. 
Blue Hill. Here we are, the Bruton Smith building. Let's go check it out. Some more die cast. Thunder Valley. Get a cushion. That's really cool. Oh, wait, Matt. Hit the wrong one. There we go. One more time. There, a couple of them for juice from. You want to sign the wall while you're here? Sure. Awesome, baby. Check this trophy. That's really cool. Hey, look, we got Kill Your Bro in the background. <laughs> Just chilling up there. So uh, just wait until the gates are open and we head on in and get to our seats. But first we gotta get a drink because we are thirsty. Look at that. Look at the track, man. Look at the trucks over there. Cool, huh? That's awesome. So what do you think? It's nice. Yeah. I just can't wait for the race. Oh yeah, definitely. And the heat races and all the good stuff. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Love it. All right, we're going up the racetrack. And look at that view. Check out that view. All right, we're finally in our seats. Ready to watch some dirt action. Great seats. Yeah, these seats are really nice. And we're really high up, but we can see the entire track. It's awesome. It's, it's not bad. It's, no, Daytona, you're like really high up in Daytona. But uh, the seats are really good. We can see the whole track, see every car, we can see everything. Look at that beautiful 48 car right there. Isn't that thing gorgeous?
like I said, the heat races are done. Surprisingly, Ty Dillon got one. That's a really cool, especially in that really nice looking uh, number 42 game paint scheme. Corilla Joy, Ryan Blaney, getting into it. They were racing each other hard, and they started beating and banging. And then um, Bubba Wallace and Austin Dillon started beating and banging. It was wild, and those heat races were really good. For my pick to win the truck race, I think it's either going to be between Stuart Friesen, Logano, or Chase Elliott. Who do you got? Uh, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I think it's going to be neither one of them. I'm going to say Stuart Friesen. I'd say Stuart Friesen too. Oh, well, um, Logano. Yeah, I picked Logano too, so. Well, we'll see how it goes. Haley Deegan. <laughs> Haley Deegan. All right, he goes with Haley Deegan.
truck race, Ben Rhodes ends up winning it. I really wish Carson Hosebar got it for his first truck win. Maybe next time, hopefully we, I get a chance to go see him win his first race, but oh well. Ben Rhodes was there, he was in the spot, and he ends up winning the, uh, the race. But congratulations to Ben Rhodes on that, and um, that, was, uh, that was something else. <laughs> Well, all right, my favorite two people around in this part. How's it going, man? Hey. 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 Six days? Six days. Yeah. Oh, six days. How y'all two doing? Oh, we're just chilling, bro. That's a good race. Other than the fact that Darian jinxed half the damn field. Again, man. Don't tell me you jinxed Carson. I just, yes. I said you. Carson. And, and Buddy. Hell yeah, and the, uh, who was in the 51 again, Buddy? Uh, I can't say anything, but. Uh, like He's four. a USAC champion. Yeah. Twice. You know how. I so badly wanted Carson to win that. Like, honestly. His win will come. Like, he's winning. Um, he'll, uh, he'll get a, a lot of wins. He'll get a lot of wins. Not this one. Yeah, not, not this one. one. <laughs> uh, Every week. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, here comes another one. Ah, it looked like it, though. Know? All right, walking to the car, we just saw uh, Darian and Iceberg. Had a really good talk with them. Great people, great friends. And uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to get on the podcast one day. But uh, time will tell. But uh, it's, uh, it's amazing these guys are doing what they love and see um you know taking nascar uh everything they do for nascar taking it to a whole new level and it's amazing on what they're doing right now we're actually gonna wait till traffic kind of you know levels down more and then we're gonna go to uh, ihop get some delicious food oh snap we got the haulers out here I'm trying to get them to do it. I'll get one of them. Hold on. Watch. No, no, hold up. Ah, uh, didn't do it. Come on. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. That's cool. We got it. Nets. Oh, we're back in the hotel room right now, and we just got back from IHOP. We just decided to do a pickup order. IHOP is really good breakfast. Look how delicious that is. So good. All right, tomorrow, gonna go to the cup race. All right, first off, we're gonna go sleep a little bit after I eat, especially after I eat, I'm going to sleep. Get up early in the morning, get ready to go back to the racetrack. Wait on Chris, and we're going to go watch the race that night. Don't know what we're going to do Monday. Probably go back to Book to Million, see what they got again. And before we head back home, probably stop by some places and, you know, have a look and everything and see what's going on. So we'll see, um, see what we come across. All right. Good night. All right. Sunday. Ready for Bristol Dirt Race for the Cup Series. Calling for rain today, which that's gonna suck. And it's also calling for more rain tomorrow. So hopefully they can get this race in. I'm waiting on Thomas. I'm actually heading to the car right now. So I can put stuff in there. Be on our way to go to Bristol. First, we're gonna get something to eat, like we usually do. So yeah, let's head on to Bristol. All right, walking towards the racetrack right now. Heading to the haulers real quick. And then I'm gonna head over to the tents on the other side. Uh, gonna meet a friend over there. Hopefully I'll find some more die casts because I only I only bought like one die cast today. But I might get something else too, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. 
look at them all. Thank you. Thank you. Just got done talking to Iceberg, Jared, and uh, met Danny B and Claudia. We're gonna walk across and go to the tents because I did not go to the other side for the tent, so we'll see what they got. There's like a guy selling strawberries, like for five bucks a box. I think that's a good deal. And these things taste so good. What's up, guys? Hey. What's up, man? What you doing, dude? Try one. Try one. That shit's strawberries good. Strawberries and blood alike. Hell yeah, try it. Shit's ripe. That's the best strawberry I've ever eaten in my life. Five bucks a box down there. I'll have to check it out. But it's Bristol, baby. Let's, Let's go. It. Yeah. So excited. Yeah. Oh, he did? Yeah. Somebody moved me, dude. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Nice. I think so. I think you can. I think he's going to grab you. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. Uh, That's really nice. You guys are ready to have some fun yet? Yeah! yeah. Woo! I can't. Well, I mean, I can't a little bit. You guys have been really nice. Dangerous, so watch out for those. I mean, I, I brought mine out here. Mine's mine's a different color, though. Nice. That's the uh, the peach tea. What what's your favorite monster flavor? The uh, the rehab teas. So uh, it's raspberry or the lemon the lemon tea, like an Arnold Palmer. Yeah, I yeah. like those. Now, I mean, you know, we're talking about monster, and and for those of us that that have been around for a long time, monster is like the pinnacle when it comes to athletes, right there. What's it like to wear the claw and be a monster athlete? Well, thanks, my friend. I mean, it, it's really a, about a relationship. It was a family type of feel when they first came to the track years ago. Uh, Ricky Carmichael from Supercross yeah. was going to be driving with Kyle Busch Motorsport. Yeah, Mr. Excitement. Practice, uh, I remember Jimmy Fetting, my crew chief, and Jack Roush came over, and they're like, like you could feel the vibe. Like they're like, it's kind of good. I'm like. I'm 22 years old. I'm like, F yeah, it's good. Yeah. And they're like, no, you look pretty good. Just just don't knock the fenders off it, and you'll have a good race. And sure enough, like it was just boom, boom, boom. Car had a ton of speed, and we executed, got our first win, uh, and that was 20 years ago this weekend. So that's my favorite memory here at Bristol. You know, you're not only a driver, but you've been a race fan for a long time, and, and we were talking about some of our heroes growing up. I was a big Davey Allison fan. Who was your favorite driver as a kid? Yeah, I like the Allisons because with Davey racing, Bobby was racing. That was like my dad and I, uh, as far as when we were together at the track. And then there's the man in black, you know, legend, right? Yeah! And there's this guy driving a rainbow-colored car that was pretty good. <laughs> 
But him and I had the same birthday, so that was weird for a few years. But no, I, I honestly, it was uh, Bobby Allison, Davey Allison, that combo. And then um, I was on the West Coast. We didn't have Hardee's. Appreciate it. Uh, Root for the 45, all right? Thank you, sir. I've got some uh, autographs. Tell the folks at Toyota that you want us to keep coming out here and doing all the cool stuff. Deal? Awesome. Now, who wants to freestyle? For those of you that I chose to, to ask questions and stuff. Come on. Come on. We tried to meet Kurt Busch and uh, Kyle Larson and uh, Joe Elgano rode by us, so that was cool. Man, I was so close to getting their autographs, but hey, we're going to so many races this year, we'll have a chance to meet them guys. But uh, it was really cool seeing them uh, coming out here and talking to the fans and, you know, giving everybody a great experience out here in Bristol. It's almost time for racing. Well, I think we've got about like two like two or three more hours to race day, uh, till race time, so uh, see how that goes. Thanks so much. Yep. We got Cowboy Chris right here. <laughs> you already know what the deal is out here. Cowboy cookies. Cowboy cookies. Cowboy killer out here. That looks good, man. It looks awesome. Oh, look. Y'all awesome. the real OG smoke yeah, car yeah. 13. Yeah. OG, YouTube, the best. The man. Yeah. The myth, the legend. The myth, the legend. You never know who you'll see at the National Motor Speedway. No, uh, this is a really good fan experience too. That's uh, that's it's worth it, and this track's awesome. And uh, we're waiting at the Fox uh, race day, uh, starting at five o'clock. It's uh, four six uh, four sixteen right now. So, and y'all gonna see us on TV too. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, check us out on Fox definitely. I'm gonna be back here like, ooh. <laughs> so if you don't see that, you ain't seeing us. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Chris. Thank you. Hey, Jamie, right here. Thank you. Racetrack right now. Let's get it, DH. You but, uh, already know we got that dub coming from 35th place tonight. And I call it right now. Yo, we were on NASCAR race day, and man, we were just acting nuts like crazy. And um, I think they actually zoomed in on Jamie McMurray because I was kind of doing this and all that kind of stuff, making faces and everything. I was just having fun and because you know why. Nick Crystal, baby. Yeah, that's right. Hey, we we're on TV because that boy Nick Throckmorton right there. Smoke Carbon 13, baby. Oh, yeah. It's Bristol, baby. We're it's Bristol, baby. Race. On dirt. Hell, yeah. He starts 31st from number 10. Coming from center four from Tampa, Florida. Derek Alvarola.
Let's go, Bristol. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
look at the rain pouring. Like, uh, what was it, last week with Xfinity? Yeah. We, I, I thought it should have been ended, but then we waited and it was a great finish. So, yeah. Like, can't complain about it. Yeah, like, the racing, like, I mean, I understand, like, rain and, um, like, kind of like ending a race. I had a feeling that it was going to end it with, like, 29 to go. But hey, we stuck around and we just watched a crazy finish. And the Bristol Dirt Cup race. I mean, this race was so wild. Hit that like button, also subscribe for more. If you want more NASCAR vlogs, the next race we are heading to is Dover in two weeks. So, thank you all. I love every single one of y'all. And just remember, stay gold. Get to guitar and start writing songs 
Bow whiskey and women and getting too stone. And he got all three at the first show we played. Hometown said, I don't think Jesus done it that way. Boy moves to the city, lives fast and goes on. Start chasing the devil through honky tonk bars, ignoring the voices in his head that say, I don't think Jesus done it this way.